Hey everyone, so this video is just a short introduction into uh, how I produced my own power distribution blocks. So, a power distribution block, what is its purpose? Well, what it does is it takes power in from the battery and it serves as a source for other power connections. So we have one line coming in, you know, supplying the power and then this, this block's function is to distribute that power to multiple other um, sinks. So we can have different size wires coming out, different numbers of wires, and it's, it's quite handy when you have a bunch of different, co different components that need power, but you don't want to have a bunch of wires running directly to the battery. You just want to have one big wire going to the battery and then a bunch of little wires coming off of a block. So I looked around online and I saw a different you know, different power distribution blocks for sale, mostly through, you know, car audio websites, but they were quite expensive and sometimes hard to find. So I decided to make my own. And the way I did this is I used a 3D printer. So, let's just see if I can take this apart here quickly. So, um, what you need to, what I did is I designed a, uh, housing, a plastic housing, and I made it using a 3D printer. And what I had here is a large hole um, for the battery cable to come in, so is the power source, and then one coming out right on the other, other side, and that's for the main power draw. So for example, this distribution block is going in the engine bay. I want to have my source cable coming in from the battery, and then my biggest draw will be to the engine harness itself. And that's going to be connected to the alternator and um, powering the engine. But on the sides here, I also wanted to have some options for other you know, connectors, um, for anything else that might need power in the engine bay. Things like maybe extra fans, uh, lights, whatever, you name it. So what you need to do is get a brass bar. I believe this is a 3 4 inch uh, square brass bar. Uh, cut it to size and then you need to drill your holes. So you just drill the appropriately sized holes and you know they line up here with the holes on 3D printed uh, housing. And then you have to drill holes on the top and these are for set screws. So what happens is the wire goes in, you clamp down with the set screw to hold the wire in place. And these set screws are also made of brass. And, and brass is a good choice because it has a low resistance, high conductivity, and it's you know, not it's not going to rust. It's going to oxidize a little bit, but it's not going to rust like a steel bar. Um, so the way I produced this, there is the main piece here, and then we have a lid so that we can actually put the brass bar in and then secure it using the lid. And the nice thing here with this housing is it was very cheap to make and I can make it in any size, any number of holes that I desire. And also you can see here that the housing has four holes for mounting this in any direction or to any you know, part I want. So and this is going to be housed in the engine bay. I have a separate one that I'll be housing in the cabin and that will power things like my amplifier, uh, my extra gauges, and you know, other things like that. So quite cheap, it takes a man hour to machine everything and to 3D print, um, but the end result is quite satisfactory.